Here's how to use wave dashes to rank up quickly and become a better player. All right, guys, we're back today with another tutorial on how to wave dash. But before we get into the tutorial, I want to shout out my Twitch channel. I t stream over on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. I also want to shout out my TikTok where I post my clips and quick coaching tips to help you guys improve. I've also recently started a Twitch VOD channel on here on YouTube uh, where I post my past streams. So for you guys who can't make it out to watch the streams, if you guys still want to see the streams, I've made a separate channel where I post every single stream. Now to learn how to wave dash, we must first know what a wave dash is. Essentially what a wave dash is, is just a flip cancel on any surface, whether that be the ground, the walls, or the ceiling. If you don't know what a flip cancel is, don't worry about it. I'll show it to you in game here in just a second. Secondly, what does a wave dash do and why would we want to use it? So what a wave dash does is it gives you a momentum boost without committing to a flip. Now, what does that mean? That means you can gain the same momentum boost you would from getting a flip, but you can still change directions on a dime. Also, it gives you a boost in all directions, so not only can you change on a dime, you can wave dash to the front, you can wave dash to both left and right, and you can wave dash backwards. Not only all that, but you can get supersonic quicker and with less wave dashes versus flips. And you'll see how that is achieved here in a second. All right, the first step in wave dashing is, for one, you need to have the correct jump. So for you guys who don't know, there is two different jumps in Rocket League. You have your quick jump. Like, as you can see, I don't get very high off the ground. All you need to do is press A really quickly. But the second type of jump is a longer and higher jump. So as you can see, versus the quick jump. Big difference. So for a wave dash, you are going to be using your quick jump. You never want to do a wave dash while using your long jump. Only quick jumps. Next, once you do your quick jump, all you got to do is pull back on the stick. So I quick jump and I pull back. That's all you need to do. Make sure your back wheels here are landing at the same time. Because what a wave dash is, is basically a flip cancel by using a surface. So you want two wheels to touch at the same time, whether it's your back wheels, your side wheels, or your front wheels. Once you do that, all you do is flip the opposite direction of the wheels that are landing. So for example, if I want to wave dash forward, I have my back wheels touch first, and then when they once they touch the ground, I flip forward, like so. See that, how I get that boost? And the same applies to backwards as well. I'm just back flipping here. And if you guys are struggling to understand what I'm saying, just, just watch my controller overlay. Now, if you want to wave dash to the left or the right, this is where power slide comes in handy. You need air roll and power slide bind to the same key. Because if you don't, let's say I just air roll here. See how I just stop, I don't really go anywhere. Now when I do this with power slide, it keeps my momentum for much longer. You see that? Same with the other way. And my right bumper here is my arrow and power slide. Now that's really all it takes to wave dash. Now one wave dash like this, uh, as you can see, it's not really gonna do much. So the big bonus for wave dashes is to be able to use them back to back very quickly. You can get supersonic with zero boost by using wave dashes. All you got to do is chain them together very quickly. So, one, two, three. But you see I'm picking up speed. If you're using this while driving forward, it just takes three wave dashes. So I'm driving, small jump, 
wave dash wave dash and right there i did it in two all right a little bonus tip here you can get supersonic off of one wave dash and one boost pad and here's how so you just drive along once you get to f max driving speed you wave dash and boost at the same time and you become supersonic do that again i'm at driving speed wave dash boost and i'm supersonic versus let's say i pick up one boost pad and i try and flip see how much longer it takes i need two flips and i'm committed to the direction i'm going so that is very bad in case you need to switch directions very quickly some other quick tips here is you can use a wave dash coming off the wall so i'm jumping off a wall i need to keep momentum just a little bit of boost and i'm supersonic again so let's say I go up the wall and I have very little boost. I can jump off, wave dash, and boost. I'm at driving speed. Jump, wave dash, boost. Very quickly. Another thing you can do is wave dash is off the ceiling. Now, what wave dash is off the ceiling will do is one, depending on how you use it, you can either use it to, let's say you go for a ceiling shot, but the ball gets a little far away from you. You can wave dash on the ceiling to catch up to it without using any boost. So you could save boost for your shot. Or you can use wave dashes to bounce off the ceiling very quickly and get back down to the ground. Both are very useful in different situations. And I highly recommend learning all of these. I recommend using wave dashes and one boost pad in combination to get supersonic. I recommend learning to use wave dashes back to back. And I recommend using wave dashes off the walls and ceilings. Lastly, how do you practice wave dashes and become really good at them? Well, the best way to practice wave dashes is in free play. In free play, you can just mess around, play around with them, see what works for you, get the com comfortable feeling of using them. A couple of tips I have for that is go into free play with zero boost or turn off unlimited boost and try and keep your momentum using boost, just the small pads and wave dashes. Also try doing chain dashes where you're using wave dashes in a chain, but also use these wave dashes holding power slide the entire time. And after a while, you'll get the feeling of just using wave dashes and power slide in combination to keep your momentum all the way around the field, which will in turn make you a much faster and a much better player. Using them in game, I would recommend going into casual and try and use wave dashes as much as possible. Use them so much that you overuse them. And within a couple, I don't know, probably 20 hours of gameplay, you will it will be second nature. If you practice wave dashes every day for five minutes, within a week or two, you will be using wave dashes like they are second nature to you. And in turn, you will be much quicker on the field and therefore you will outpace your opponents at lower ranks and you will rank up instantly. You will be able to get back for more saves. You will be able to play faster on offense and get better shots and just simply outpace your opponents at every turn. And that guys is how you wave dash and why they're important to your gameplay. If you guys have any further questions or need a little extra help, please leave a comment below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Lastly, I want to thank you guys for watching this video and taking time out of your day. I hope the video helps. I hope you guys improve. And with that being said, I hope to see you all in the next video. Let me be clear, I'm the best in the city. I'm from the desert, but I'm dripping plenty. I feel the weight of my peers in this heavy. Bitch, don't mistake me for somebody petty. Never been slipping, I'm sick and I'm ready. Whiskey, I'm sipping and she off that henny. Shady, they moving this shit kamikaze. If you want to play me, then get the Atari.